As already mentioned earlier, the work plan for the flange workpiece has to be analyzed and optimized. Shown here is the work plan with a 17 minute 4 second production time. The information function is invoked for a first rough overview of the individual work steps. Facing is executed with a Psi 63 facing tool as a first working step. This step is followed by roughing a surface. Following this, the central borehole is machined. Then this borehole is beveled. And the tappings are centered. Next is reaming. Then the part is drilled again. Then the thread is drilled, followed by changing the clamping position. Now the outer contour is machined. Then this tool is used to finish the outer contour, the straight line and the hexagon. Now the three bore holes are centered and simultaneously beveled. Subsequently, the outer contours are beveled. Following this, the size 10 boreholes are machined. Finally, the part is engraved with a size 12 spot drill. This is the rough overview of the first draft of this work plan, which now has to be optimized. All work steps are selected for a detailed analysis and returned to the files. The 3D view shows the start situation. Here also the raw part mass is displayed. Press the F4 perform key to simulate the first work step, first in real time, then at high speed. The 3D view shows the facing result. Roughing with a size 36 milling cutter is next. The simulation shows optimum chip removal paths. Drilling of the centric borehole and the following five work steps are taken over without simulation. In other words, beveling, centering, reaming, drilling, and thread tapping. All work steps can be simulated when the information is switched off. This is the 3D simulation of the work steps.
The simulation of the thread cutting impressively shows how close to reality the simulation is. Watch how the bevels become smaller. Now the clamping work step is carried out. The display of the tool paths with the size 10 milling cutter in conjunction with the production time of approximately 3.5 minutes shows that a significant advantage of the software, the automatic residual quantity detection, was not made use of. For this reason, a new work step is created, the external milling with the size 36 milling tool already used before. The information that this tool cannot engage may be ignored here, knowing that the approach is from outside. If the work step is now performed with the size 10 milling tool from the files, you will clearly notice that the software automatically finds the remaining three residual materials. Compared to the previous production, this strategy will result in significant time saving. Now the outer contour will be finished, followed by the straight line and the hexagon. Now the three boreholes are centered. Contour beveling is taken over without simulation. To avoid an unnecessary tool change, the last work step, engraving, is carried out first. Finally, the size 10 boreholes are machined without simulation. It becomes obvious that the machining time was substantially reduced 
by the automatic residual quantity detection and the changed sequence of work steps. Do you think that now everything is all right? Let us have another look at the manufacturing result, taking all aspects into account. At first glance, everything seems to be all right, also when viewing from below. However, when looking at the production result from the rear, you will see what happened during engraving. The size 12 spot drill has damaged the hexagon. The 3D simulation reveals in this way that a smaller NC spot drill has to be selected for engraving. This is done now. The new tool is computed into the work plan by pressing a button. The new simulation shows that everything is okay now. The work plan will be saved. At a last step, the NC program will be generated. CNC Plus contains a large number of post processors for almost all relevant control systems. We now select the post processor for the Haas control. The NC program is stored under the number 123. The NC program for the selected control system is created by a single key actuation.